right, so what you're looking at in front of you is our notes for today. We're going to start section, now it says 1.7, it's technically 1.8. Sorry, I have a mistypo there, but um, it's 1.8. We're starting three-dimensional. You know, we've been doing 2D stuff. We've been doing area and perimeter and, and, um, and circumference in no particular order. Well, now we're going to talk about the three-dimensional shapes, the names of them. There's quite a few. The goal today is to do a quick introduction. I'm going to do about mm, 10 to 15 minutes worth of notes, and then give you the last 10 to 15 minutes where you can just kind of work on this worksheet. Um, you had a worksheet yesterday. It was two-sided. First four rectangles, you had to find the perimeter and area of those shapes. Remember, you had to find those missing walls by just doing a little logic. And then the back, you had triangles and circles. So uh, the formulas, I believe I emailed it. It's on my website. I have a bunch of stuff. Uh, website's working. All the videos are starting to show up, and they're starting to work as normal. Bless you. So we got lots of stuff going on the website, so I'm gonna backdate a bunch of videos. You can go back and watch all these old ones. If you need to for the chapter test, you can go back and review stuff. All right, but three-dimensional shapes. Let's go through that. So, outline today. Here's kind of the basic terms we're gonna go through the next two days. Not today, but the next two days in here. There's quite a few. The number one, we gotta really talk about the definitions of a few select words. Number one, polyhedra, or polyhedron. Right? These are three-dimensional shapes, but most people think of the three-dimensional shapes. There's a lot of them. There's different types of polyhedron. So we're going to look at those, like the classifications of them, and look at what the definitions are. We're not going to get real properties about them, um, but we'll talk about the basics, um, at least today anyway. Tomorrow we might get to some specific things about them. But there's a lot. I don't know how far we'll get into these. Uh, I know we'll probably get to the regular polyhedra. Um, that'll be a definition we'll see later. Uh, next thing, we gotta talk about the certain parts of a polyhedron. So we gotta talk about what a face is. We gotta talk about what an edge, what a ver vertex is, or vertices, plural. Those are like the basic terms that apply to polyhedrons, okay? Um, now, you probably recognize a couple of those words. You probably recognize the word edge, you probably recognize the word vertex. So still the same definitions we had back when we did polygons. But now we're doing three-dimensional shapes, kind of weird-looking things. Um, after that, then we're going to get specific types of polyhedrons. So this is where the classifications come in. These will probably be the stuff we do tomorrow, I think. I don't know how far we'll get. Uh, so the specific types. Prisms, there's different types of prisms. I want to define what that word means. So you know, like, is this shape a prism or is it a pyramid? Because right? pyramid's a different type. That's a different type of polyhedron. We've looked at pyramids. In fact, I'm going to show you some of those same pictures. Maybe some new ones. Okay. Um, and then, other than these two shapes, then we're going to start talking about the non-polyhedron. Because I think it's important to know what a polyhedron is and compared to what it's not. The non-polyhedron shapes are things like cones and cylinders and spheres. Those are the non-polyhedrons, things with curved edges. Polyhedron have straight edges. Non-polyhedra don't. They have curves. They're the types of conics, the cones and stuff. Then, um, so these, this is a tall order. This is a massive undertaking, probably probably more or less tomorrow, I, I think we'll get to more, a majority of these. Uh, like we'll get to specific types. Today might be just today, we just look at what the basic definition is. Um, okay, questions up to this point, what we're gonna be looking at the next two days, basically. Now we have more words here, obviously, but. Okay, we're gonna start with our main topic today. Now this is gonna seem weird, our main focus is going to be polyhedron. Define it, what is it, and then we'll go into specific types and what we call regular polyhedron. Okay, regular, what do we know about that word again? We've seen that before. Normal. Okay, most people think, because that's the English definition, right? Regular is normal, it follows the same, but what does it mean for geometry? What were the rules for having a, poly, uh, having a polygon that was regular? like a regular quadrilateral or regular triangle. What were the rules for regular? It's very specific, there's two rules for regular. Because English definition, there's plain normal, but in geometry, it's special. There's two stipulations to be regular. Please. It has to be equilateral and equal angular. Yeah, all the angles have to be the same and all the walls have to be the same length. Edges and angles, so equilateral, equiangular. So if you think about a three-dimensional shape that has that, that's a regular. There's a lot of different types. Um, what most people think of as the regular polyhedron are like the die that you use. 
when you play like Dungeon and Dragons cubes. and other board games, yeah, like cubes and stuff, they have all the same wall lengths, they have all the same angles in the corners everywhere. Okay, and we'll look at different versions of them. There's one that I cannot see, so I'm going to ask if somebody has like a, a certain Dungeon and Dragons die set they can bring in, we can kind of look at them. Uh, I'll put them under a little camera and then we can all look at it and see how it looks. Because there's one, I can't get the image in my head. I, I can see it in the book, I just can't look at it. I need to physically hold it. Okay? All right, and then we're going to talk about the platonic solids. Um, platonic solids are po regular polyhedra. It's a special type. Um, they, they have the same wall lengths, everything. They're very special. They have special names to them. Uh, it's the same thing as regular polyhedra. These kind of go together. Platonic solids. And then obviously the thing we're going to finish with tomorrow or possibly even Thursday, or Friday, I mean, uh, will be all the different like formulas. So like surface area, um, volume, those are going to be the things we're going to look at on Friday. Or maybe even Thursday, I don't know if we'll get to that tomorrow. Okay, as I told you, it's a massive undertaking. Just think about how long we spent on the polygons last week. These are shapes you probably don't know the names. The shapes last week, you probably recognized them. Now these are things you probably have never seen, even in elementary days. Okay, questions so far? Okay, let's define what a polyhedra is. I think that's important. Let's get to the main part. So, polyhedra. Definition of it. Definition of a polyhedron. Uh, polyhedron is singular. Polyhedras, plural. So know that. So, polyhedron. Definition. Here you go. It's a solid, solid figure, right? Has all the surfaces that enclose a region of space. There's no gaps, there's no holes. Every surface comes together perfectly and encapsulates a region of space, an area on the inside, a volume. But notice, they're all flat surfaces, no curves to that definition. Now I'll let you see a picture here because I think it's important to get to see one. These are the terms we need to discuss. A face, edge, and a vertex. Those are the things we need to look at. So again, it's a solid where all the surfaces enclose a single region of space. Single region, not two regions, single region. Let's go through the parts here, because I know a lot of you are just getting that definition written down. Let's talk about what these individual parts are. The faces are the flat surfaces. So if you look at the flat surfaces, like uh, what is this face in the front? What is this shape? Trapezoid. Trapezoid. That's a face. It's a flat polygon. Every polygon is a face on these shapes. It could be anything. In this case, it's a it's a you know it's a trapezoid. It's a type of quad. Those are faces, they're the types of polygons, they're flat, they have edges. Now the edges, right, those are those line segments that make up the walls. They intersect in corners. The corners where those, those edges are meeting that make those polygons, that make those shapes. The corners are called vertices, or a vertex, singular. So now, the definition of a vertex on these shapes, there has to be three segments coming together or more. So I'm showing you different things. So a vertex, bases. A base is just like a face. It's just what it sits on, the bottom of it. So these are all the terms that most people think of when they think of a polyhedron or a three-dimensional shape. But I'm, I want you to get the specific words. So when I start using specific terms, you know exactly what I'm talking about. So again, faces are those flat surfaces, they're polygons. The edges are those uh, where the, uh, the line segments are meeting, right? That's where the faces come together. They intersect to make an edge, a straight line. And then the corners where those edges are meeting are called vertices or vertex. So I have a couple different pictures there. 
Okay, questions up to this point? And I'll use some of your just kind of scrambling to get definitions written down. Good. Okay, let's go to the next thing. So after polyhedron, okay, we've got all these parts. Now we need to talk about is like a regular polyhedron. Like what are the specific things? So if you look at these shapes, right, these are what most people think of, you know, the polyhedron, right? They have bases, top and bottom, they have edges meeting, right? But what we need to make sure of is that you understand what a regular polyhedron is. A regular one, one that's equilateral, equiangular, right? So this is the definition. We're going to go through a couple of these shapes. This will probably be my last slide coming up. I said it's going to be very short today. I just want to give you the basics. Okay? Polyhedrons, where the faces are all regular polygons. So they're equilateral, equiangular. Every face. So And they're all the exact same type. So the, the regular congruent polyhedrons and all the edges are exactly the same size. All the angles where the vertices are meeting are all the same. Every object. This picture that you're looking at here, is every shape the same type of shape on this picture? Are they all the same type on this one? No, that is not a regular polyhedron. Okay, This would be a poly, uh, or this wouldn't be a regular, but it would be a normal polyhedron. I want to be irregular, just be a normal polyhedron. Same with this. These shapes are different. This one could be if all the all the types of shapes were the same exact type. Could be. The angles have to be the same, the walls have to be the same. That's what regular means. This will be my last slide coming up here. We're going to talk about the different names of these. Those so the platonic solids. So my last slide's coming up. Okay, here we go. Okay, so the regular polyhedron, or what the book refers to, your textbook refers to as the platonic solids. These are very specific shapes. They're the only ones that exist that are regular. So that means they're equilateral, equiangular, and they have all the same shapes that connect. You can't just pick any type of polygon to connect. They only fit in a certain way. So here's here's the list, and they're kind of in order. Okay, these are the ones that I know of. Okay, number one. Okay, remember definition. This is the same definition. You don't need to write that down. That was the same definition I just gave you a little bit ago, in case you were scrambling to get it written down. It's polygon where the faces are regular congruent polygons, right? And the edges are all the same size. They're all congruent. So here's the different names. Number one, you could have a tetrahedron. This is a very specific type of regular polyhedron, a tetrahedron. Tetra is basically a very crude way of saying three, so it's triangles connected. It's four equilateral triangles being connected, four of them. So you have three of them on the top, almost making like a pyramid, and then the bottom is a triangle. So it looks like this. That is. It's a specific type of pyramid, okay? It is not the Great Pyramids of Giza, right? The Great Pyramids of Giza have a square base. That one's triangular. It's more of like a, an arrow tip, if it was three-dimensional. Um, the top of an obelisk, uh, if the obelisk was triangular in shape. Okay, so four equilateral triangles meeting. Tetra is the basic crude way of saying triangles. Okay, a hexahedron. Hex meaning six. There's six faces. Um, this is a cube. This is what everyone thinks of like a normal die, right? Six square faces. They're all squares. That's a hexahedron. Six sided. There's a top, bottom, right, left. Up, down, that kind of thing. Front, back, I don't know how you want to think of it. 
So like the perfect cube where it's you know six-sided. Um, cubes are supposed to be perfectly balanced, even though they have little divots, little pockets that have the numbers you know, engraved into them, etched into them, they're supposed to be perfectly balanced. So no matter how you roll it, uh, the numbers are equal value. So like when you get to the higher digits, like um, six versus a one, the divots go deeper. So that it's the same weight being taken off of each side. A lot of people want to know that. Okay, third type. Octahedron. How many sides do you think is in an octahedron? Eight. Okay, now, this one's very specific. Eight, it's got triangle faces again. But there's eight of them. Eight equilateral triangles being connected. It's basically um, a square pyramid, right? Like the Great Pyramid of Giza. But imagine there's another one underneath it connected to it. Like a reflection. Um, what was that? Like a reflection. Yeah, perfect reflection. Yeah, perfect mirror image on the bottom of it. Um, any of you guys ever played the, the computer game The Sims? Maybe you guys have it on your iPhone or iPad. Okay, this is a little icon they always put above your sim, I think. They always had a little, little uh, octahedron. I think we have two more. Oh, there's two more. Okay, next one. A dodecahedron. Dodeca is 12. So it's got 12 faces. Now the faces on this one are should be pentagons. So they're 12 pentagons all connected. Regular pentagons. Pentagons have five sides, right? We have 12 of them all connected. Here you go. Now this one's kind of hard to see. Um, I think of it like a princess cut diamond. So if you're into like roundish diamond looking shapes, um, what you're looking at is the very top image of it, the top of the actual uh, diamond cut itself, the dodecahedron, and the top is a perfect uh, is a perfect pentagon, and the bottom is a is a pentagon. And then what they did is they went around and they connected the top with five. Uh, Pentagons, and then the bottom is also connected to five, and it kind of is a mirror image again. So what you're looking at there is something like this. So imagine you're looking at the top, but this is kind of what it looks like, where the pentagons are going to the top like that. And the very top is the thing you're looking at. That's this part. So they're kind of going around. They're making a shape like this. If that makes sense. It almost looks like a flying saucer. And the bottom is that circle down there. So that's like from the side view of it. It's kind of hard to see with these three dimensional until you hold it in your hand, like it already makes sense. All right, the last one, and I know this seems weird, the fifth one, an icosahedron. An icosahedron has 20 sides and they're equilateral triangles. Now I'm gonna just show you the picture. I can't even see this. So here you go. I know what it's supposed to be. I look at that picture the book gives you and I can't see it. I'm sorry, it's just the way the lines are hitting. That to me is just a blob of dashed and solid lines. Um, I would need some, there's, you know, if you play Dungeon and Dragons, you probably have one of these, a 20 sided die. Um, I, I think I just need to physically hold it to even see what that thing's supposed to look like. So um, I'm going to talk to some of, my, some of my kids today and see if some of them have them. There's certain kids that play Dungeons and Dragons. I think I can have somebody bring one in so you can actually physically look at it and hold on to it. Okay, that's my last slide today. You have the last 12 minutes, 15 minutes here-ish. You can just work on your worksheet. So this thing is due tomorrow. Keep that in mind. You can work on it. Find area and perimeter for each one. There you go.